We're also today shipping a testing framework for Silverlight that allows you to write unit tests um, for both non-UI as well as UI functionality within it. And to help seed you, uh, we're shipping more than 2,000 unit tests that cover all of the Silverlight controls, also under an open source license. Uh, hey, Jeff here. This is my first video blog post. Hoping to do some screencasts and little updates from time to time. Just got back from the Mix conference in Las Vegas. At the Venetian, we announced a lot of really cool things about Silverlight 2. Uh, I think the, the big thing for me was that we're doing this unit test framework. And so we have the source code to the controls to Silverlight 2, about 2,000 unit tests for those controls, plus the unit test framework that you can use to test your own applications. So I guess what I'm going to walk you through today is how to actually find the control source, how to run some of the unit tests, and then in a future screencast, I'm actually going to show you how to go through and actually test your own application. So here we go. On my MacBook here, I've already set up Visual Studio 2008 and installed the Visual Studio tools that go along with Beta 1 of Silverlight 2. I've also downloaded the control source code package from the web, and I've included a link to that download with this blog post. Taking a quick look inside this package, you see a few subdirectories. The controls are broken up into three projects. The core controls, such as button and checkbox. The extended controls, such as calendar and date picker. And then the data grid in the data directory. You also see there's a directory called bin. This is just the test framework and unit test metadata assemblies. For now, I'm going to go ahead and open up the mix control solution file in VS. Digging in here, you can see here's the source code to the button. Here's the source for checkbox. There's also a set of test projects in here. There's some common test code that's shared between all these assemblies, and then the individual tests for these types. If I open up controls.test, right click on it, and hit set a startup project. Go ahead and start debugging. You see the Internet Explorer opens up and starts running tests. On the left side you see the Silverlight plugin, and on the right is the web page log. Here's the test classes and the test methods that have been running. They run pretty quickly, but there's literally like a couple thousand tests here, so you often won't run them all. For now I'm going to go ahead and close the browser. Now since there are a lot of tests here, and sometimes you're just trying to diagnose one or two failures, so we've added something actually called the exclusive attribute. So if I jump into the button class, the button test project here, I'm just going to go ahead and add an exclusive attribute right here. Let me go ahead and add one to the actual class. Now when I go ahead and run Here you have, it just ran that one method in that one class. At least basic tests are not all that exciting, they're API tests. But if you look in the data grid test project, they're actually a lot more interesting. These tests use a more advanced test format, they're marked with an asynchronous attribute, and they contain sleep calls so that anyone watching can actually do visual verification. So I've selected that as the startup project, I'm going to start debugging again. And now you see the data grid being populated, rendered, and these tests are a little bit slower, but pretty interesting. That said, they do take a while to run also. One other thing I want to do real quick is just prove to you that this works the same in all the browsers. So I'm going to copy the location, close this browser, and then open up Firefox. Here I navigate to the same page. Here's the data grid being rendered. On the right's our test results. Looks great. So now I'm just going to go close Visual Studio. And the last thing I really want to show you is that, hey, this actually works from Expression Blend also. If I open up Expression Blend, the March preview, I can open the Mix Control Solution. And if I drill down here, I can 
pick the extended set of controls. There's the test project right here. Right click, set this as the startup project. You go to the project menu and then test solution. Click yes to continue. And here are the extended tests running right in the browser from Expression Blend. Anyway, that does it for today. In my next screencast, I'll make sure and walk you through using unit testing with your own Silverlight applications and class libraries. Let me know if you found this useful.